Hey everybody, welcome to Treehouse Chatter. I want to do a really quick video today. I'm on my way out, but um, I thought of uh, highlighting this stuff because it's really great. It is animal hair and dander homeopathic. Uh, you, they sell this stuff everywhere now, I feel like. Uh, it's very easy to find, but I know a lot of people with allergies. I am definitely one of them. I did not grow up with allergies to anything. And then when I was an adult, I became allergic to animals, uh, specifically cats and dogs, more so to cats, less so to dogs. But it was a real pain, you know, hives, hives in my throat, which is crazy town. And it's just really uncomfortable. And it's horrible because I love animals. So it's one of the reasons why I went vegan actually, and my allergies are so much better. But if I know that I'm going to a friend's house and there's cats everywhere, or just one cat, not cats everywhere. I always uh, take some of this. You put a, a couple of drops under your tongue every few hours or so, and it really uh, seems to help. I really like it. So I, it's uh, for sneezing and congestion, itching and rashes, and watery eyes. Um, so, um, and the expiration. I mean, this this lasts for a very long time. I think it expires in 2016, and I've had it for about a year. Um, so I wanted to spotlight that. And I also wanted to say that, you know, in doing all these videos, I, I want to kind of urge whoever is watching and listening that these changes don't have to, you know, happen all at once. I think sometimes people want to get healthier or they want to, you know, uh, get all eco-cleaning products and they want to get rid of the toxins in their house and those are all great things, but sometimes when you try and do everything all at once, you can just stress yourself out because there, you know, we've you've been living a certain way for so long that it's really hard to make these changes, and they can be complicated, and they can be difficult, and they can cost money when you're first switching over, and it can just get really overwhelming. So uh, my advice, and it's kind of the way I did it. I feel like when I look back, I'm like, oh, I just did a big overhaul and I did it all at once, but I really didn't. I just you know, I, I used up every single thing I had because I didn't want to be wasteful. And when it came time to buy a new one, I bought a new one. You know, I remember when I was uh, wanting to get a new eco mascara and I still had some of this, whatever I had. And I was like, no, you know, I'm going to finish this. And when it comes time to buy a new one, when I'm ready, when I actually need one, I'm going to go buy a new one. And I did. So that's my recommendation you know, start with a few things here and there, but, or if it's something you absolutely need, like allergies and, you know, you don't want to take whatever the over-the-counter pills are these days. And I know they really work. I used to take them, but they have some side effects that really are awful and you just don't feel like yourself. So, um, this stuff won't make you feel that way and it actually works. So give it a try. It tastes funny, but it works. And, um, what else was I going to say that, yeah, step by step, Try one thing at a time. Um, you know, if you want to share in the comments, uh, you know, what did you, what was a, a few things that you switched over to? Is it overwhelming for you? Do you feel like even if you take all these steps, how much am I really helping the environment? How much am I really affecting my health in a positive way? I'd love to have that discussion because I know from a lot of people and feedback that people think I am just one person, like what can I possibly contribute? Uh, but there is actually a lot and I'm going to do a whole separate post on that and how every person really does count. So that's about it for now. Thank you for listening and watching and try out this uh, BioAllers homeopathic animal hair. Wait, there we go. And dander. All right. Happy Saturday. Bye.